Well, hello and welcome to another edition of Rare Classic Cars and a discussion of the best of, worst of. Today we're going to focus on the best of and we're going to talk about what is my favorite transmission or we'll call it two transmissions, although they are related. So there are many different good transmissions out there that were made uh, in particular by the domestic auto companies in the let's call it from the 50s through the 70s era and even a little bit later but this one is my favorite of all time and it's really because of two reasons the drivability and the smoothness associated with it as well as the reliability and that is none other than the turbo hydromatic 400 and the 425 transmissions in particular those with the switch pitch torque converter. So the Turbo Hydromatic 400, let's start with that one. The 400 was introduced as a replacement for the old Hydromatic transmission, which was a four-speed transmission. The Turbo Hydromatic 400 was a three-speed. And it was introduced in 1964 and really carried on until 1990. It did change its name to 3L80, uh, you know, a little bit later but it was essentially a turbo hydromatic 400 transmission. And the, these transmissions are particularly robust. They have a cast iron center support that helps support a lot of the transmission internals. So they can take a significant amount of abuse. And while certainly there are other offerings that are excellent, Ford had its C6 transmission, which is really well known as being durable and Chrysler had its 727 torque flight transmission, also known as being a great transmission and very durable. This transmission is really the only one that was used by many different external companies. Uh, so it was put in everything from obviously a stable of General Motors vehicles, everything from Corvettes to full-size cars to some of the uh, intermediate cars with the big engines as well, to even Ferraris, the Ferrari 400 and 412, I should say Ferrari, and the Jaguar in the US, or Jaguar if you are in the UK, XJS, it was used in Rolls Royces, it was used in Bentleys. So GM sold this transmission and some other systems too, including their air conditioning systems, which can be the topic of another video, but sold this to many different companies for use in their vehicles. And that owed to, again, not only its durability, but also its reliability. It was extremely durable, extremely smooth shifting, and very reliable. So the 400 is the rear wheel drive version. The 425 is the front wheel drive version that was introduced in the Olds Tornado in 1966. It's a longitudinally mounted engine in those vehicles. It's not transverse. And it's a really interesting setup. It, you basically have the torque converter that is coupled to the end of the engine and then you have a very thick chain that goes from the torque converter and then drives the transmission which is facing the front of the car and the output shaft goes to in essence a front differential with two half shafts that go to either wheel on either side so the 400 and the 425 are related. The 425 is essentially a 400 that is split after the torque converter has that chain and then the rest of the transmission facing forward on the driver's side of the relevant vehicles that it's in, including everything from the Tornado to the Eldorado to even the GMC motorhome of the 1970s. So these are classic iconic motorhomes if you haven't seen them that general motors actually produced gm truck and bus produced them and everything from it wasn't just a chassis they produced the interiors the exterior fiberglass shape and everything and they're really cool looking motorhomes and they're front wheel drive so they have two trailing sets of wheels in the back that are sprung uh, on, on the same side of the motorhome. There's no cross car beam that runs or axle beam. They're sprung in tandem with airbag suspension on both sides, but they're front wheel drive. And that's 
good and bad. It was tough if you were at a marshy campground and you're trying to pull out. There's not much weight over those wheels, and they often had a challenge. But nonetheless, this 425 transmission and that chain I'm talking about was so durable that GM dropped it essentially unaltered into a 23 or 26 foot long motorhome. So the 400 was offered from 1964 to 1990. The 425 was offered from 1966 to 78. The last vehicles that was in were the Eldorado and the Tornado. And by the way, while the, the Tornado, the Eldorado, and the Riviera were all platform mates, if you will, at a particular point in time, the Riviera was rear wheel drive. The Eldorado and the Tornado were not. So the other thing that I wanted to mention about these is this feature called the switch pitch. So for a limited time frame from the 1965 to 1967 model years and on the non-Chevrolet or the higher end vehicles, these transmissions had what's called a switch pitch torque converter which has a variable pitch stator in it, similar to the technology used on the earlier Dynaflows and Super Turbine 300s as well, where it's a variable stall speed. So if you're driving normally, the car has a lower stall speed, so you get better efficiency with the transmission. And then if you depress the accelerator more than, I would say, about two-thirds travel, it changes the stall speed because these vanes change in the torque converter in the transmission and the stall speed raises anywhere between 500 and 1000 RPMs. So if you drive one of these vehicles, and I have a number of them, as you depress the accelerator, you first feel a speed up in the engine RPMs when that the switch gets contacted by the throttle under hood to change the pitch uh, in the torque converter. And then as you further depress, then the transmission will kick down into a lower gear. So it's a great, great feature because you not only have the benefits of efficiency when you want it, but you have the benefits of performance when you want it. And unfortunately, they were made for a relatively brief time period. And, and they went away, as I said, in the 1968 and later model years, really due to cost. It wasn't due to reliability. The system was quite reliable and it's very, very pleasant to drive. So if you ever are able to experience one of those General Motors vehicles with a switch pitch transmission, uh, you've got something that's really unique, particularly on these turbo hydromatic 400s and 425s. And I mentioned that feature, that switch pitch feature was not exclusive to that transmission, but it was exclusive to the General Motors stable of transmissions during that time. It was using the Dynaflows and the Super Turbine 300s. But by far, my favorite transmission of all time would have to be the Switch Pitch 400s and 425s. Reliable, durable. I don't know that you can say much bad about it. I don't know that I've heard a mechanic or car owners who have these transmissions in their vehicles say hardly anything that is is anything but positive. I love the C6s and the 727s. The 727s tend to shift really smoothly. The C6s are a rather firm shift, just a different philosophy, but these are buttery smooth, just like liquid velvet. In any case, thought I would share with you what I think are some of the best transmissions. And GM had a number of great transmissions, but for my, for my money, nothing beats a switch pitch 400 and 425, which some of you guessed, by the way, in the comments uh, on some of the previous videos. So good job. Thanks for watching. Stay warm, everyone. And until next time, take care. Thanks for watching this video on my favorite automatic transmissions of all time. Hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe. To subscribe, click the circular icon of the 67 Riviera at the top left. If you'd like to check out another best of worst of series video, click the picture of the video at the bottom right. And for another video suggested by YouTube for you, click the video picture at the bottom left. Thanks again for watching.